fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks and he strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction, brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? I've got to see him, Jive. Do you understand? I see him. Hello, Pat. Please don't disturb him, Uncle Culver. He's very ill. I'm sorry, Patricia, but something has happened, and I must see him. Well, come in. What brings you here at this time of night? I had to come. Captain Flint is alive. I always thought that you were a fool. Now I'm sure of it. Look at that. Captain Flint had an iron hook for a hand, easily replaced by this iron claw. You're crazy. It's impossible. We saw Flint die. You're wrong. We saw him go overboard, but we didn't see him die. If you had only let me shoot him, this wouldn't have happened. It was unfortunate for Flint that we were saved from the wreck while he drowned. But even were he still alive, he's forwarded any claim to our treasure by his actions. I won't argue, but I'm going away and I want my share of the gold now. You can't have it! You know perfectly well that I can only melt down and sell so much at a time. It's mine. I demand it. Give it to me or I'll tell the government if where I to... thought you'd do that, you'd never leave this house alive. You threaten your own brother! Yes. If you threaten my safety, my fortune, I have control. I'm staying tonight. We'll talk this over in the morning. You better not. Our loving brother Roy is in the spare room. That jailbird, when did he get out? He was paroled a week ago. He got here this morning. I was hoping we were rid of him forever. Now, don't worry. I'm going to give him some money, and he's promised to leave the country. <laughs> He'd break his word. He always has. Right you are, Culver. I'm staying right where I belong, in the bosom of my family. What did I tell you? He's been listening at the door. You're darn right I have, and I heard plenty. Thanks for phoning me, Jives. Is my father any better? Worse. Mr. Culver brought some news that annoyed him. News? What news? I wouldn't know, but it was important. Mr. Roy joined him, and they all started quarreling. Roy again. Father will regret freeing him. Does he know of the treasure? I'm afraid so. They were all talking so loud about it. I couldn't help I overhear Oh, keep still. You fooled everyone but me. You're after the money just the same as the rest of us. Look after that bag and watch for my husband. We're staying here. Don't worry. I'll stick around and protect both of you from this one-handed sailor that has an iron claw. He won't get the treasure. Now, see here, Roy. Don't go too far. Your loving daughter. Jives phoned me that you had an attack. I was worried. I had to come. You've never worried before. Why this sudden interest? Well, I... I'll I... answer for you, Millie. She's got money trouble, and you're the bankroll. We all worry about your health, Anton. I won't stand many of your insults. I have a husband to protect me now. How'd you land him, Millie? Back him in the corner and make him say yes? Yeah, that wasn't necessary. She's Anton's daughter, and Simon thought she had money. <laughs> I won't stand your insults. Why not? He's your uncle, isn't he? You keep out of this. Quiet, quiet, please. Oh, shut up. If you must quarrel, use the rest of the house. Now get out, all of you. All right, old boy. I'll start the parade. Much as I hate to leave my loving family, I need some shut eye. Good night. Oh. 
Aren't you going? I'm staying on, too. I'll sleep on the couch in the library. I have things to discuss with Anton in the morning. Yes. Yes, I asked him to stay. Well, good night, Father dear. Good night. You call me if you need anything. It's all right, all right, all right. Get rid of Roy. You don't dare send him away now. He knows too much. Duty or loud mouth. Uh, isn't it better to keep him here where we can watch him? I don't know. Maybe you're right, but I don't like it. I'll see you the first thing in the morning. Good night. And send jives to me. All right. I'm exhausted. What are you doing here? Listening as usual? No, sir. I'm just locking up, sir. Your master wants you. Is it true that Captain Flint is alive? He is. We'll handle him. Only this time we'll make certain that he doesn't reappear. Meanwhile, perhaps this iron claw will frighten my greedy relatives away. Now I'm going to check up on Brother Culver. Come with me. Yeah, he's here. Look, come on. Feel him out here. Five down. Come five down. Hello? Hello, is that yourself? This is Roy Benson. Roy Benson? Are you out? Listen, I just struck a gold mine. Biggest thing I ever tackled. You still have the same willing boys? Sure, the boys are still with me. I'll get in touch with you tomorrow. Yeah? Well, then count us in. Well, boys, something's cooking. That's my old pal, Roy Benson. He's fingered a job that's gonna bring us plenty of folding money. Oh, so it's you, Nosy. What are you doing in there? I'll confess, I was stealing some of Anton's ready-mades. Oh, just put through this phone. Is there any way to trace it? No.
से Has your father died? No. Uncle Culver's locked in the library. We heard a shot and... Then why are we standing here? Ah! It's Culver! He's dead! You and Pat better stay back. Oh. He's dead. Murdered. The iron claw is struck. The iron claw? You know the meaning of this? Yes. This is the second warning tonight. For Mr. Culver broke the first. Billy, you heard him. Yes, and none of us are safe. We must leave here at once. But this is murder. We can't just run away. The police might suspect us. I know who did this. It was that parole convict, Roy. Why, I heard him threaten Culver tonight. Why, Millie, that's impossible. It's not impossible. Well, we must find him and put him under arrest at once. What's all the shooting about? As if you didn't know. We found Culver in there dead. I hope your alibi is good. Why, the mere fact that Uncle Roy is here clears him. Remember, we found the door locked. Thanks, Pat. With your record, you'll need more than that to clear you. We found this. That iron claw business. That's just a hoax to fool the police. Uh, so it was the iron claw. Well, he certainly didn't lose any time. Get out of my way. Yeah. Thanks, Captain, for the tip. I'll put my star man right on it. Editorial room. Send Bob Lane right in. Murder story. Hurry. I tell you, Flash, we're stagnant, stuck in a hole. Nothing ever happens. Our talent's wasted. Why, the city's dead. There used to be gangs and gangsters, enough to keep us running. But now what do they do? Well, I'll tell you. They tip their hats as they pass a policeman. What do you want? Big shot won't you. He's sending you on a murder story. Wait a minute. Did you say a murder story? Yeah, one of the Bensons kicked the bucket. Hooray! Saved by a Benson. Come on, Flash. Boy, oh boy, I hear we got a murder. I'll say we have, and it's big. It's one of the Bensons. No details yet. Their prominence makes it big. Family's noted for its wealth and their fighting. Get going. Get some pictures. Right, Chief. Hurry up. Rewrite. Snap into it, Flash. We got a chance to be famous. A murder, a big one. Who are we gonna murder? The Chief, the public. My story will murder them all. You're taking in too much territory. Boy, what a lucky break for us. The police will keep the whole Benson family busy. Every one of them will be watched. That'll leave us in the clear to carry on. Hey, that guy's pretty lucky having a gold mine right in his front doorstep. Don't be a dumbbell. The gold he's selling doesn't come from any mine. He has a treasure hidden somewhere on his place. And it's our job to find it. We're sure slipping when we have to chase hidden treasure. Well, it's on the level. Roy gave me the lowdown. Now, come on, all of you. We're all in on this. Here's the plan of the Benson's house and ground.
what are we sneaking up like this for? One of those cops is going to pop us. Well, who's sneaking? I've arranged with Pat, I mean Miss Benson, to search the house. What's the story? They got the front door guarded, they got a plainclothes dick inside, and, and they give them the family the once over. Well, that's not so hot. We better get back to the car and keep off the walks. <laughs> I just saw a million guys bounce into that jungle there. Oh, probably detectives guarding the place. It's all right, we got credentials. That's all we need. You stay here. I'll bluff them. Get the credentials. Sorry, men, but you're on private ground. We're reporters in the Daily Item. It's all right, we're expected. I'm sorry, it's no dice. I'm from headquarters, and my orders are to keep everyone out. Oh, that's different. You picked a bad story, Silk. What is this, double talk? Well, my name Your is... name is Silk Landon. I cover that Thomas Jewell case. Saw you every day at the trial. Do the police know you're... Give me that picture. Now, give me that picture. Tonight. You're all at liberty to go, but stay within reach, because none of you are in the clear. What are we waiting for? Great credentials. So, it's you fellas. Hello, Casey. Late as usual. Yeah, but I'm in time to catch you. We've done nothing but battle a bunch of gangsters. Gangsters? Yes, and they went that way. Come on, O'Malley. I must hurry. I still have a patient to see. Good night. Night. Good evening. Well, you have a lot of gall to come here after the story that your paper printed. What do you want? Pardon me, but I came to see Miss Benson. Good evening. Good evening, Miss Benson. What are you looking at? James's car. It's James's car, all right, but he's not in it. Ah, oh, that patient business was a stall. Why is he hanging around? I'm staying here to find out. You take the car on home. I've arranged to leave the library window unlocked. See that no one disturbs you. Good girl. Thanks a lot. I'll keep you posted. Uh, good night, Miss Benson. Sorry to have disturbed you. Good night. What are you trying to do? Give me the runaround? We couldn't find anyone. That's your hard luck. Read about it in the morning item. <laughs> Fresh guys. <laughs> Come on, O'Malley. We report progress to the inspector. so good. Turn on the lights. Now see what you can find. Quiet. Come in. Their window. That's not enough. And you stay here until I call. Look, Jack, I found it. Oh, 
point. Quiet. We're not going in there, are we? Well, sure. That's why we came. Our story's in there. And it's no good without pictures. Say, this wasn't built in a day. This is something. Yeah. What? Boy, the car's bad tavern. What is it? Oh, nothing to be frightened of. This is evidently an old Indian burial ground. Yeah, but suppose I'm taken for a redskin. What did you do that for? Evidence. Evidence. Hey, just a second. I want to be ready. Gotta keep to the right. Get this door open, Flash. I have a hunch we'll find something. Flash, where are you? Lane out of the way, the claw success is assured. Can it be that old Anton Benson himself is the claw? And what are Roy's plans? Isn't that the tunnel where we last saw the claw? Don't miss The Murderous Mirror, next week's hair-raising chapter of The Iron Claw. Fabulous fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, her destruction. His brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? Cruel and heartless, he murders Culver Benson. Then, when Bob Lane and Patricia Benson search for him in the Bensonhurst tunnels, he strikes again.
Maybe it's our friend, the Iron Claw. Somebody's at the door. Hey! Come on! Anyone in there? Good old Flash. Yes, open the door. I'm betting he don't show. Well, you'd lose, Jake. There's his signal now. back to the house. I'm going to look through the rest of the passengers. Oh, I'm going along, too. I'm as anxious to find my uncle's murderer as you are. Well, you ain't going to leave me here alone. Did you find the mine entrance? Yeah, and cased it, too. It's guarded by two fellows with guns. Why didn't you wait for me close to the house like I told you? We ran into those reporters. They recognized me and took my picture. Well, you've got to handle those fellows. You'll get your chance. I just left them. They're heading this way. Are you and them friends? Nobody's my friend. That interferes with my plans. They can only come out through that ship or the mine entrance. Divide your men and watch both places. Right. Hey, do you suppose that leads up to the house again? Oh, it couldn't. We're too far away from the house. You stay here. I'll check up. It's all right. There's nobody here. Come on up. Boy, what a place. Yes. It's on guard and keep me posted. Those reporters know the passages. They won't be content with that. They'll investigate further and find curiosity to kill the cat. No, 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 no. That's out of the question. So. They're in the shack. Now do your job. And remember, under no condition must the girl be harmed. She'll be safe. All I want is those fellows with my picture. When the job is done, scram. I'll get in touch with him. Don't forget the dough. This proves that the tunnels are connected with the mine. Hey, that's nifty. Well, that's no secret. I told you Uncle Ant and told me all about the mine. And we'll return here and search every one of those passages. Come on, you're not afraid, are you? No! You'll go nowhere until you give me that picture you got of me. Give it to him, Flash. I wouldn't use it anyway. Yeah, but... Don't argue. Do as I say. That's good advice, unless you want your friends walking slow behind you. That ain't funny. Come on, give it to me. Well, I don't know which one it is. Then give me all of them. You'll help yourself. I ain't waiting on you. Look, kids! They beat it. I'll phone the boss. Do you suppose that the cause men? Perhaps. I know their leader. He has a bad record. We'll do anything for money. Who wouldn't? Let's get back to the house while they're still running. The reluctance of all the members of the Benson family to cooperate gives rise to the grave suspicion that the identity of this killer is known to them. That's it. You can't trust any one of them. Yes. Now, listen. What are the police doing? 
How long is the suffering public going to stand for gross negligence and inefficient methods of our police department? With a fiendish murderer running at large, they do nothing. Why? What does this bird know that the police don't? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He's just trying to ride me. This case has got to be solved, and I'll give you 24 hours to bust it. Oh, listen, Inspector. Sherlock Holmes couldn't bust it in 24 hours. He's dead. And you'll be, too, if you don't deliver. Dead to the department, at least. Get going. All right. I'll bust it, Inspector. I'll bust it. You can camp with it. I'm sorry. So sorry. Hey. Jack, you weren't far wrong. I believe the claw just left here. Which one? Yeah. Which one? Why, look. Oh, that. I put that there. You you, you put it there? Yeah. Where'd you find it? On the wheel of your car. Come on. He may have left fingerprints. Oh, the fingerprints. sent me a warning and that took a shot at me just now. That's right, Chief. We were dodging bullets like the front line. I'm not falling for that stuff. Go out and find some news. Don't make it up. Make it up? It's the truth. Look. That ain't termites. Why didn't you get yourself shot? Then you'd have had something. Get out. Oh. I'm busy. And don't come back with that phony junk. How do you like that? I nearly get bumped off and he doesn't believe it. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. I'll mash you over the head and we'll say the iron claw returned. Yeah. That's not bad, huh? Hello. Oh, hello. Now, this is Flash. Yeah, he's here. Huh. Hello. Uncle Latin is furious about your article. Why did you write about the family? To force their hand. I hate to say it, but I'm sure one of them is the claw. I won't believe that. Now, things are going to happen out there tonight, I'm sure of it. Stay in your room, and if you need any help, why, Flash a light in your window. I'll be outside. All right. But you're taking a chance coming here tonight. I'll not give you any more. I'll get the money, or else I'll tell our loving relatives about that hidden treasure that you and Culver discussed so fluently. All right. All right. You take this. You take this and make it last. I'll try, but I'm a spendthrift. Don't I know it? Oh, hello, creepy. Listening as usual. Look what my brother gave me. <laughs> No, uh, we had him dead to rights in red mist. I'm glad he did. You fellas will all burn one of these days. Ah, uh, where's the gang? They're eating. Go send them in. Worry, worry, worry. What are you worrying about, Salt? The guy didn't publish the pictures, did he? That's it. The holding out that's worried me. Hello. Yeah, he's here. Hello. Hello, Salt. I'm sending the door over by special messenger. Why don't you come yourself? Because I may be wise. Now, you case that's my job tonight. Report to me tomorrow. Okay, I understand. We'll be on the job. Hey, where'll you be? I'm sticking close to the house. So long. What's the hurry? We hadn't finished eating yet. I just want to tell you that everything is hunkadory. The money's on its way over. Oh, it's all right. Sit down. I'll tell you what we have to do tonight.
clumsy another minute and we would have had him. Am I sorry? Well, he can't be far. Let's separate. If you get a glimpse of him, give a yell and I'll come around it. Give a yell, all right. With you fellas. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were the claw. That black coat fooled me. The claw? Hmm, I'll get rid of that. Take that coat off of me. Why, is the claw here? We saw him a minute ago. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, let's round him up. We'd better separate. We'd have a better chance of catching him. Is Mr. Lane there? This is Miss Benson. Well, he hasn't arrived yet. Will you tell him I called? Thank you. You're in danger, Pat. I can't explain. Trust me. Get to your room. Hurry. Don't leave your room. Remember, don't leave your room. Don't worry, I won't. Go to her room. Good. Certainly will take it.
The road's getting narrower. Watch your step. It's narrower up above and comes to a dead end. We've got it. Look out! Now the claw can scheme unhindered. But who is he? And will this giant of bone and muscle aid or obstruct him? And why is the trusted Jives making a deal with Silk Langdon and his mob? Learn the answer to this puzzling action in The Drop to Destiny, next week's spine-tingling chapter of The Iron Claw. fortune is at stake. The iron claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the iron claw? Angered by Bob Lane's interference, he threatens the reporter's life. Then, when Patricia Benson refuses to heed his warning, the inhuman creature kidnaps her. Bob Lane rides after them, and the Iron Claw lashes out once more. Oh, it's getting narrower. Watch your step. It's narrower up above and comes to a dead end. We've got it. The flash, nobody's got you. Did you get the number of that truck? That wasn't a truck, it was a mirror arrangement placed by the claw to make me swerve off the road. And you fell for it like a sap. Never mind that now, we've got to save the girl. Be one time I'll be glad to see him. Wait first, Casey. We're coming right up. Now. The murderer of Culver Benson is ahead on this road. The murderer? He has the girl with him. The girl? If you're game, we can capture him. Well, I'm as game as they come. But you can't go in my car. Why not? The front tires are all busted. We can walk. It can't be far. Well, walk it is. Let's go.
step. I'm tired. And besides, I got a Charlie horse. Dr. James searching the desk in the library. He didn't see me. He's still here somewhere. Anything else? I caught Simon listening at your door. He covered up very clumsily. What was his excuse? How'd he get in the house? He had Miss Millie's door key. Said he came for a forgotten grip. He left it once. Where's Roy? In his room. He never left it. I see. I see. Good work, Chives. Get my dressing gown. handled many a man in my time, but this is the dumbest of the lot. You told me the house was locked up. The library's full. Hmm. I give up. I've been talking to this guy for ages, threatening him. Casey, I told you when you started, he can't talk. He's deaf and dumb. But why didn't he say so? You so now what? Check up on everybody's alibi in the house. You took the words right out of my mouth. Ha uh ha! -huh. What are you doing listening at the door? I wasn't listening. And where have you been? I've been taking care of my uncle, Anton Benson. Of course, your uncle will bear witness to that. Why, certainly. But he's too ill to be interviewed. Oh, he is, is he? Well, he'll be interviewed, and how? Oh, oh, another one. Well, you better have a good alibi for the past hour. I was reading in the library for over an hour. Then I returned to my room to get this grip. That's a lie, officer. He arrived here less than 15 minutes ago. He's trying to throw suspicion on me so as to clear himself. Doctor, if you were with your uncle, how is it you knew when this gentleman arrived? Why, why, I... Uh... Well, one of you two are lying and it ain't me. Help! Ma! Casey! Wait. Ma! Cut it out! Cut it out! You fool, he can't hear you. Just stand back. I caught him. But, Jack... I have to see your Uncle Anton. He holds the key to a lot of this. Oh, but really, he's too ill. You want the murderer brought to justice, don't you? Yes, I do. Keep an eye on him, Casey. I'm interviewing Anton Benson. I keep both eyes on him. They're coming up here. What do we do? Stall them as usual. Jarvis, Mr. Lane believes Uncle Anton can help clear up this mystery. He wants to see him. It's impossible, miss. He's too ill. I'll ask him myself. Wait. Uncle Anton. 
Uncle Anton. Jives told me what happened. Thank heaven you're safe. Bob oh, Blaine saved me. And it would help a lot if you'd see him for a minute. I couldn't stand any more tonight. Later, perhaps. Please. He couldn't see you tonight. He's worse than I've ever seen him. Giant! Coming? Pardon me, miss. Where's your Uncle Roy? Why hasn't he shown up? That's his room. Let's see. Uncle Roy? Be careful, Auntie. Funny, Uncle Roy is so sensitive about his stay in prison, he goes nowhere. Do you mind if I search his room? We might find something that'll help. No, I'd be glad if you would. I want to convince you he's innocent. You start here. I'll do me best. Oh, that inspector's a fine one. Here he wants me to make this bird sing and he can't even talk. I'm on a spot. Well, can you write? Yeah. Uncle Matt. Can you write? Can you? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. He can't hear you. Write the question. Now, let me see. What will I ask him? Make a cross. Yeah. Who are you? Oh, come on. Find out who he's working for. I was coming to that. And yeah. uh, who hired you? Come on. Come on. But it's the one he's working for we want. His name is... Oh, but the shot came from downstairs. I know. Yeah. Where did you say the shot come from? Right there. No, no, the shot came from here. No, it came from now, back. Now, don't tell me. I know. Come here and I'll show you. That ought to convince you. The window is open. The shot had to come from there. You don't care about the window. I tell you, the shot came from back there. Now, wait a moment. You're hard to convince. Do you... Did he try to make a getaway? No, Bob. It's another bump up. One shot in the bullseye. You were both in there? Did you see anybody? No, we were both busy. Sherlock here was trying to get the mute to write out who the claw was, and suddenly a shot rang out. And the, and shot, the shot came, came from there. there. Oh, you're crazy, Flash. Casey's right. The shot must come through that window. Yeah, but what about the... That back wall is solid. That's what I've been trying to tell him. The murderer sneaked up, opened the window, and let him have it. Oh, oh Casey, looks bad for you. Yes, I get... Hey, wait a minute. You don't think that I did it, do you? Yes, and here's the gun. You can find out what I think in the item in the morning. Come on, let's go. We must get this gold away. After last night, there may be a new search of the house. I'm not going to melt down anymore. It's too dangerous. No, no, no. Not that way. Secret passage to the garage. And get a receipt. Well, I always have, haven't I? How long do we have to stay here and watch that Benson play? Till Silk tells us to quit. He wants that gold the butler's taking to town. Yeah, but I got to... All th quit beefing, will you? We're better off than Slim there. He has to sit up in that tree and watch the house. Yeah, that's all right for him. He's a monkey anyway. No cracks out of you, Red, or I'll come down and get you. <laughs> Comes. Get that car in place, quick. Flash, get the car. We're trailing the butler. I'll report back to you later. Oh, let me go, too. I'm afraid here. Yes, that's right. You have reason to be. Get out. What is this? Where are we going? Bye-bye. Look, those men are kidnapping jives. We're in for it, Flash. Put your hat on tight. We take it. 
him. And I'll stop them. Better slow down, Bob. Their marksmanship might improve. Break. Don't worry, we'll catch him. Lucky I checked up on Silk's hideout. Well? I know, I know. You could get the tools out for me, though. That's their car. They're in for a surprise. Haven't you better call the police? Why let them in on the front? That's not fun. Those men might kill Jive. And you. Oh, thanks for adding that, but they won't. They're after information and money. Flash, you stay here and keep an eye on Pat. It's a pleasure. It's gold, all right. The real McCoy. Where'd you boss get it? From his mine, sir. Ah, oh, that's a lot of malarkey. Where's the real treasure? Treasure? I really couldn't say, sir. I never heard of it. You really couldn't say, sir. You never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Maybe we can find a way to make you. Red. He'll talk, they always do. Now look, we're gonna get along all right. Now does he melt it down from uh, stolen jewelry or uh, a hidden treasure perhaps? Oh no, sir. It comes from the mine, sir. Uh -oh. Mugger, I'll let you have it. Get in that room. Keyhole snooper. Well, it's you. It's right now your news. A kidnapping always is. Well, let me tell you, you'll never publish it. You think I better go in? No, he said to wait. you're looking at now? Can it be that Dr. Benson knows the end of? Will the Claw's new plans be successful? Iron Claw. fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Destruction. Brother against brother. Friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? 
Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? His mute servant knows and starts to write his name. Too late, he's killed by the Wicked Claw. Then gangsters kidnap jives and part of the gold cash. Bob Lane races to the rescue and grim fate steps in. Time. You think I better go in? No, he said to wait. Trip. Lucky I did. Well, what became a jive? He got away when I busted in. He had gold in that bag. That's what the gang was after. Don't let anyone touch it. What's this all about, Lane? Dead man and shooting? Well, I came here on a story. A gang attacked me. That man outside tried to throw me off the roof, but fell himself. Why should they attack you? Hadn't you better try to capture some of that gang? Your buddy's up there, and they're plenty tough. They might have bumped them off. How's it go, old timer? Not so good. Jive's got away with the gold. And if it hadn't been for that reporter, they'd have got the gold. A pretty kettle of fish. He'll want to know where it came from. The mine, of course. That story is always held up. It won't hold up now. Any expert could tell in a minute that mine is of no value. You were all fools leaving that car parked in front of the tenement. It might ruin us. They can't trail us. The car is hot. It was stolen for the job. Don't worry about the car. What about poor Luke getting his? He was my buddy. So well, that was unfortunate. Sure, unfortunate for poor Luke. That's another account to settle with that reporter. I told you he was dynamite. He is. If it wasn't for him, we'd have the Benson gold. And now he can put the finger on us for the cops. That is, if he lives long enough. He won't if you'll turn us loose on him. All right, go ahead. But be smart about it. Come on, what are we waiting for? That's my apartment phone. I'm going there to clean up, then back to the office. Thanks. I won't bother you unless I have to. But keep me posted, will you? About everything. I'll see you tonight, sure. Taxi. You wait at the office, Flash. I'm going to need you. Clark Apartments, please. Watch your step. I've been waiting for you. Well, well, here I am. I'm taking you in. The inspector wants to have a talk with you. Oh, you got a warrant? I don't need one. I'm taking you in on suspicion. And according to your record, it starts in at murder and goes on up. I've served my time. You guys got no right to dog me around. Well, I'm only taking orders. All right, let's get it over with. But if you think you're putting me on the grid, you're crazy. I'm not talking. The police are arresting your brother, Roy. Are they? Well, aren't you going to do something? Certainly not. That's one less to watch. But the treasure, he may talk. He'll talk plenty, but not about the treasure. That would ruin any chance he has to secure it. They'll have to release him, worse luck. Too bad they couldn't arrest the others, too. They'll be hovering around. You go downstairs and watch. 
Well, there he is. Hey, he's making the cab wait. That gives me ideas. Now, look, here's what we'll do. Headquarters, Inspector Kramer, please. Sorry, this can't be taken. So are you. Get out. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? No, no, Inspector. I don't think that gang had anything to do with the murder of Bensonhurst. Yeah, sure, I'll keep you posted. All right, get on the job, will you? Okay. Yeah, well, well, thanks a lot, Inspector. Yeah, that's great. Thanks. What happened to the other driver? The same thing that's going to happen to you. Benson, let me in, you fool. I must see Adam at once. Just as I said, my dear. And this arrest of Roy proves that I was right. Undoubtedly, he engaged those ruffians to rob poor Jives of my father's gold. In my opinion, he had nothing to do with this gang. I think the guilty one is closer than Roy. Someone who has been here continually. You don't fool me with your insinuations. You're only trying to cover your own guilt. It's marked all over your boat. How dare you? What are they doing? Go and do what I told you. How did that reporter follow Jive? Did you tell him he was carrying gold? Why don't you ask the reporter to explain? I'm sure he'd welcome your interview. Well, I will at the first opportunity. He's entirely too busy with our affairs. Miss Patricia, your uncle wishes to see you at once. Is my father worse? I'll go to him. Please don't. Well, Millie, there's nothing for us to do but leave. It suits me. I'm sick of the whole place and everyone in it. I wish we could depend on that. You can't depend on that. He never told the truth in his life. You're a fine one to talk. Too bad they didn't keep you locked up. They would have if they had anything on me. I'm in the clear. I'm interested in finding the one that tipped them off to grab me. Well, it wasn't me. I'm not interested in you one way or another. Well, you needn't look at us. Because of Millie's father, we try to protect you. I'll find out who it was. What are you up to? Nothing, sir, nothing. Watch your step. I may decide to pin your long ears back. Get those monkeys out of there. That's what your master sent you here to do. Yes, sir. You must tell those reporters to stay away from here. Stop meddling in my affairs. But, Uncle, if it hadn't been for them, Jives would have been robbed, perhaps killed. Oh, I'm grateful for what they did. But that I'll not have them hanging around. Very well, I'll tell them. Thank you, my dear. I do hope you'll feel better. Good night, my dear. Good night. Uh, can we take you to town? I have my car. Why the sudden offer? I'd like to be sure you didn't hang around like you did the night of the murder. Fine family trio. I wonder where they're headed for. Another murder or two, I bet you. Don't kid. With them gone, we can get to our job. Well, I'm just crazy enough to follow you. Lead on, Captain. Far away. To that mine entrance. We're going to explore those tunnels. Well, why not try the panel again? You know, house breaking's my specialty. That window's a cinch. No, we're going to the mine. Cover new ground. As afraid of that.
They've gone at last. The house is locked up. Roy and Patricia, you checked up on them? They're both safe in their rooms. Their door is locked. I'm sure of it. Good. Then we can act. Attract those guards' attention away from that mine entrance. I gotta get in there. How about me? You in and me out ain't so good. You're tickled to death and you know it. Now, as soon as you're sure I'm in, get back to the house and wait for me. Watch Pat's room. Ten to one, I'll come out through the panel in the library. I'll get busy. All right, but look out. You're on your own. I didn't have time to be announced. Besides, he didn't want anybody to see me. Well, why are you here? Oh, Bob pulled a bloomer. He went into that mine alone. The guards were supposed to chase me, but they double-crossed me and ran back after him. Well, we must warn him. Yeah, but how? What part of that maze of tunnels is he in? I don't know, but we'll never find out standing here. Come on.
Is Simon Leach the Iron Claw? The evidence seems to point to it. Else why does he be from Bensonhurst so fast? And why does Roy treat his brother so cruelly? Has he discovered the secret of the Iron Claw? See what happens in the fiery fall. Next week's fast action chapter of the Iron Claw. Fabulous fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? Silk Langdon's gangsters kidnap Bob Lane. Then when he escapes, the scurrilous claw awaits him and snags the reporter in his clutches of steel. Sounds like it came from the mine. No, I'm not going in there. But we gotta go in there. Think of Bob. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's no one around here. Stop it! Stop it! Who are you and what do you want? I'm Patricia Benson. My uncle owns this mine. Yes, my pal went in there. He's liable to be hurt. Well, he has no business in there. But he got out. I saw him. Where'd he go? I don't know. But I'm going to take you two to the house and check on you. Just a minute till I get my equipment. You watch the mine, Charlie. They just brought in Miss Patricia and one of those reporters. He says they were... I know, I know. I saw them from the window. But did they get into the mine? No, but... Then no real harm has been done. You send that fool guard back to his duties and have that useless detective order the reporter away. I'll attend to Miss Patricia myself. And don't answer any questions. Now, hurry. I'll never answer any questions. Well, see that you don't. All right. Yeah.
The reporter won't leave. Miss Patricia has taken his part, and the detective is helpless. Why waste time? I've listened to everything. Now I'll tell you something that you don't know. Simon's in the house. What's he doing here? That's what I expect you to find out. All right. Well, honey. He's here with my permission. Well, I'm only enforcing the owner's orders. Now, will you go or won't you? I'm not going. You're just sore because Bob discovered a lot of things and you discovered nothing. Oh, he has, has he? Yeah. Well, he's obstructed justice, and when I find him, I'm going to run him in and you two as an accessory. <laughs> Right. Look out! Well, well, where's the water did you come from? Did anyone else come through here? We didn't see anyone. Why? The killer's on the prowl again. I thought he came this way. Speak up, man. Who do you mean? I'm getting tired. I wasn't kidding, Casey, when I told you the killer was dressed in black and had an iron claw for a hand. That man is in this house right now. Oh, I gotta get back to You'll do nothing of the kind. Just stay right here. My gun. And I should lose my gun in a time like this. Here it is. Oh, thank you. You say you know who the killer is? Yes, certainly. Well, all right, name him. All in good time. Too much of a start. Let's check up on how he got in the house. Right. He got away. Now, see here, you. You said you know who the murderer is. All right. Speak up. Sorry to say this, Miss Benson. All right. Go ahead. That man, Simon Leach, the man who just escaped. What? The fellow that married old Anson's daughter? Right. I know it all the time. like the police know something. And Simon evidently... It's not true. He didn't do it. He couldn't. Well, you're his wife. You want to know, but I doubt if you do. If Simon didn't do it, why is he hiding? He's not hiding. He may be hurt or frightened half to death, afraid to come back. He knew you suspected him, James. Perhaps it's driven him to do something desperate. Hiding because he's a killer, nothing else. That's not true. If anything happens to him, I'll... You'll do what? I'll fix Stop you. It. Stop it. Please, the ceaseless quarreling will drive us all to murder. No one knows who will be the next to go. Yes, let's go and leave Uncle Anton alone. I'm sorry to have caused you all this trouble, Father. Well? I want to speak to you. What about? Money. Treasure, to be exact. No, you, you listen to me. listen to me. And never mind that bell cord. Insult an invalid in his own home? Invalid? Why, you old fraud, you can walk as well as I can. Something else I know. You used up our family money on that treasure hunt, then said it failed, that the ship sunk. It did sink. Yeah, but not till after you got the treasure off it. Now, oh, Roy, your long imprisonment has thrown you off balance. You're excited. Did her? Sure, I'm better. But I've been sweating behind bars on a phony rap. You've been living in ease on my dough. <laughs> well, the tough days are over. I've had enough of them. You're splitting with me, and that means half of Culver's share, too. We'll call that by inheritance. You dare to threaten me? Do I? Say, how would you like to go to prison on a murder rap? The murder of Captain Flint. Maybe you'd get my old cell. You dare to threaten me? Blackmail me in my own house? Get out! Get out! Well, that's an old Spanish coin, all right. The fact that you found it in Benson's laboratory suggests that his treasure hunt succeeded. It sure does. Maybe he hid the gold and wrecked the ship to get rid of everybody but his brother and himself. That'd be cold-blooded murder. Then right up the Benson Alley, if you ask me. Well, here I am. To miss anything? Oh, any report on Leach yet? 
No, police have a dragnet out, but no fish. Are you satisfied Leach is the killer? No, not entirely. But from the way he acted, I'm sure he has some guilty knowledge. Uh, it's for him. Hey, where'd you get this? Found in the mail basket. Uh-oh, listen to this. I'm not guilty, but I know who is. Meet me at 12 tonight in your apartment. Come alone. Signed, Simon Leach. Uh-oh, dumb as I am, I can see through that. It's a trap. Don't do it. Sure, it's a trap, but I'm going. It's risky. I'll arrange for some police. No, no, Chief. that only scare him off. Jack here will stand by to save me, won't you, Jack, old boy? Can't say no in front of him, can I? Watch my insurance. So you and your high-hat brother had a break, eh? No holds barred now. Which means I'm working with you. Good. Now we'll take them together. You want to move in here? No, that'd break my parole. It's better if I'm sort of the guy behind the scenes. Well, make it easy on yourself, pal. Now we ought to get someplace. And the Benson treasure, too. Don't call the house. I'll keep in touch with you. I understand. Nearly 12 o'clock. Now you wait in the car, and if you hear a shot, come around it. Lane just got in. We can get in through the cellar and up the dumb waiter shaft. All right, come on. What are you waiting for? You go on in and go on up with the rod. What, me get in there? What do you think I am, an accordion? All right, all right, I'll go on up myself. Looking for someone? Yeah, no, I, I mean, well, I just came down here to... Oh, yeah? Hey, Slim. Well, you walked right into something, didn't you? Well, now look, fellas, I can explain everything. I... You'll do your explaining tied up.
Let's get out of here. crying for? Is she planning some new act of treachery? And why is old Antum so interested in eavesdropping on his relatives? Is the mystery of the Iron Claw an open book to him? See it all in the ship log talks, next week's chilling, thrilling chapter of the Iron Claw. Fabulous fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? Perhaps it's Simon Leach. That's what Bob Lane thought. It's a rendezvous with the suspect. Rives finds Leach murdered. It's then that the reporter falls prey to the Iron Claw's fury. do with his death than you. <laughs> and how do we know you're not the claw, James Benson? You don't. But personally, I'm putting my money on Roy. He's disappeared, hasn't he? But there are others could be suspected, too. Oh, everyone is under suspicion. Even you are not except Millie. You've certainly as much interest in Anton's gold as anyone, except Anton himself. That's ridiculous. Why, oh, I wouldn't do that to Millie. Stop. Why don't you try it? All right, I'll bring him in. If it turns out a bust, I'll have your job, depend on it. 
Get me Detective Casey at Bensonhurst. And hurry. <laughs> oh, shut up. Your crocodile tears don't fool anyone. Hello, Miss Benson speaking. Hold the line. I'll send for him. It's police headquarters. They want Detective Casey. Do you know where he is? Certainly. Inspector Kramer speaking. Everything is very quiet. And everybody accounted for. With the exception of Roy Benson. And he's the man we want, I'm thinking. Never mind what you think. Here are orders. I'm sending out a squad car. Bring in old Anton Benson for questioning. But, Inspector, he's an invalid. He'd never stand the trip. I know all that. Bring him in if you have to carry him. All right. He's coming in. Surely you don't intend to arrest my uncle. Orders are orders. This is an outrage. We won't allow it. Take him in, Casey. I'm sure you're following the right path. Don't do it. I want to be helpful, but I have me orders. Never mind her. Do your duty. Now, that's enough out of you, or I'll take you in, too. Open up in the name of the law. Oh, he's dead. Murdered. I know he is. We'll do something. Break down the door. Ah, oh, permission is all I needed, lady. I'll have to report this. You can't phone the wires cut. Father's murdered. I know he is. Oh, I don't believe it. Why? Anton's been on the verge of running out on us for a week. Wait a minute. Inspector Kramer speaking. The bird is flown. His room is in a frightful mess. He must have put up a terrible battle. And do you know what I think? The claw bumped him off and is going to dispose of the body to avoid discovery. And that creepy butler is gone too. I'll send help out. That's all. What's wrong? Old man Benson's disappeared. His room looks as if there'd been a struggle. Is his butler around? No, Casey said he's gone too. Why didn't you get your idea sooner? It'll work out. You can depend upon it. It's me for the office. This angle makes headlines. <laughs> Benson took a powder. Or got one. What does that mean for us? Maybe a lot. I contacted Roy, talked to him on the phone just now. Maybe the old boy sneaked off to make some more gold. You know, I think that guy's got a racket. Ah, oh, shut up. Roy says all the cops have left the house. And now's our chance to go over it with a cleaner. Why, Millie, I thought you'd left. I... I was looking to see if Father left a will. Have you any reason to think he's dead? Of course not, Ollie. I thought there might be some hint in it as to where he is gone. I don't see how. Well, I'm not overlooking any opportunity to find out where he is.
What's the setup? I've been watching the place for an hour. There's no one here but the two women and Casey, that central office dick. Well, whose car is that out in front? It belongs to one of the women. Millie, I don't like you going home by yourself. Don't worry about me, my dear. You better take care of yourself. Maybe they're leaving. Slim, check again and see who left. Get that cop located. All right. Why, James, I thought you'd left. I did, but I returned to let you in on something. I saw Anton tonight. He was crossing the lawn, walking as well as anybody. Are you sure? Positive. The place is not safe. Be on your guard. You better leave. Oh, I'm sure Uncle Anton wouldn't harm me. Well, I warned you. I have patience to see. your uncle. Where is he? He isn't here. I, I don't know where he is. Why have you broken in? We haven't. Anton told us to drop in any time. I follow him. Mm, you're a very brave man. <laughs> Hold it, sister. Hello? No, she's not here. She's gone to her sister. Who do they want? You and nobody else. Get her? No, some man said she'd gone to her sister's. Well, but she hasn't got a sister. I think I recognize that voice. Silk Langdon. Langdon? That could mean trouble. Yes. We want to have a look at your Uncle Anton's room. Why, you can't. Well, who's going to stop me? Now, where is it? Find it yourself. All right, I'll do just that. And how. All right, boys, we're going on a treasure hunt. Oh, so oh, 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 Red, you stay here and keep the little lady company. Scatter out and find that cop like I told you. Slim, come with me. This is the old man's room, all right. Yeah. Give it the once over and see what you can find. I'll take the bedroom. Hey, Slim, look what I found. What's that? The log of the Sally Ann, Hiram Flint Master. What's a log? It's the record the captain of a ship keeps. Why? Forget it. Sail July the 5th. Look at here. August the 10th, located treasure. Oh. I want to have a talk with that girl again. We can't find that dick. He must be hiding. All right, you just forget him. He ain't bothering us. Watch the front. What does this mean to you? Nothing. I never saw it before. Now listen, sister, you're on a spot. A straight talk will help you. I'm telling the truth. Did your uncle find gold on that treasure hunt? I don't know. I never heard of a treasure hunt. Phil, the car just turned in from the road. Two guys in it. Good. Now I guess you'll have to leave. All right, we'll handle them. Jake, get the rest of them in. Now you sit down, sister, and stay quiet if you want to keep breathing. Something's wrong. Let's try the library window. All right, get set. Slim, bring the girl. You regret this. 
All right, sister. Why, there's nobody here. I heard Pat scream. All right, don't move or I'll let you have it. Come on over here and sit down and behave yourself. That's a nice boy. You believe there's safety in numbers, don't you? Sure. And hey, where am I going to sit? Sit down over there. There? Go! Maybe more than two came in. Go down and lend him a hand, Slim. Find the boss. drive Dr. Benson's car? Did Bob Lane carry the Claw's secret to his doom? And where do these gangsters get their information? What is so important about the logbook? Be sure to see what happens in the Mystic Map, next week's thrill-packed chapter of the Iron Claw. fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? 
Anton Benson seems to know, but he disappears. Gangsters come to Bensonhurst to search for the missing gold. Bob Lane arrives to protect Patricia. And then the claw steps in, and he curls his claw of iron with savage ferocity. Now, he'll sleep till noon. Let's go find the boss. I let him think he hit me. I knew nothing about the car. Joe, no, why don't you step on it? We don't want to get picked up, do we? Phil! Phil! There may be a chance to stop him. I'll phone the police. You get the car turned around. Get up on it. There. 
Now, come along. I gave two reporters a bump steer. Yeah, they're going to the old hideout on South Street. All right, all right, I'll tell him. Well, here we are. Now what? Put on my hat and walk up and down in front. Where'll you be? Getting in the back, I hope. Oh, now look, Bob, I'm out in five minutes. Come up after me. Third floor front. doing is walking up and down in front. I can't understand it. Red said there was two of them. Well, what did we do? Keep watching. Maybe he'll come in. Let me take a shot at him. Now, from here, you sap. Well, this ain't working out like we planned. Don't you think I know it? I'm going to phone Silk. Operator, I was calling Circle 646-200. Hello, Silk. This is Slim. That reporter guy's out in front. Just keeps walking up and down. What do we do? All right, all right. You don't need to get sore about it. We'll take care of him. Sir, plenty. He's coming in. Good. That'll save us a lot of trouble. Let's get set. Hey, did you leave this door open? No, I left it shut. That's funny. Chief, please. Hello, Jim. This is Bob Lane of the item. Will uh, you give me the address of this phone number? Circle 646200. Yeah, I got it. Thanks a lot, Jim. I'll return the paper someday. Goodbye. Tell him. I had to tell him something, so I lied. I told him you went to the old hangout. Then I called up here. 
I was using my brain, huh? Yeah, you must have borrowed one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, pipe down. I want to go past this loss. The Bensons found some Spanish treasure, all right, but their ship was wrecked. It looks like they got the gold ashore somewhere and buried it. Where? Well, that's what I'm trying to find out. After the wreck, someone else wrote the log. Maybe old Benson himself. What are you doing there, you? Now, I wonder what happened to the crew. Oh, that's easy. Maybe the Benson brothers knocked them off. I'll show you a thing or two right now. Sounds like Annie's getting some exercise. I better go and see. No, nah, she can handle six like that Benson kid. This is more important. the treasure near this point. Look at this Portel Cortez business, or whatever that is. It looks like somebody tried to draw a map. I'll bet you old Benson sneaked down there to dig it up. Well, what are we waiting for? To let him find it, sap, then we'll take it away from him. So you tried to get away, huh? Well, how'd she get loose? I don't know. Rent, get outside and take a look around. What do you think you're going to gain by this? Nothing. Well, young lady, this taught me a lesson. Take her back. I'll send a couple of the boys in to take charge. Come on, young lady. Get out and see what's wrong with it. Oh, we're gaining on it. 
Come on, fella. Heavy on the foot. Treasure hunting? What hope now for the innocent Bensons and hands of the claw? Don't miss The Perilous Pit, next week's pulse-raising chapter of the Iron Claw. fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction, brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? His plans will succeed if he can steal Anton's map. But gangsters interfere, secure the map, and kidnap Patricia. Then, when Bob Lane comes to the rescue and they set out in chase of the claw, he speeds their doom with cruel and caustic cunning. Oh, we're gaining on him. Come on, fella, heavy on the foot. You certainly didn't think he'd wait for you. What do you expect to find? Ownership of the car. It might lead to the claw. Well. well. What is it? This car is registered to your cousin, Dr. James Benson. Surely you don't think he's the claw. I don't think anything, but I'm going to find out why the claw was driving his car. We're going to the office of Dr. James Benson. Hey, Bob! Bob! You gotta do something. That station man's blaming me for wrecking the place. Well, tell him the newspaper will pay for it. Promise him anything to keep him busy till we get away. Yeah, but... Yeah, but nothing. This car's giving me a clue to the claw. Now, do as I say, then come to the office of Dr. James Benson. Turn on the lights. Well, looks like a cyclone has hit the place. I wonder what could have happened. That's what I intend to find out. Wait. Perhaps the claw's been here. Somebody's been here. That's a cinch. You wait here. That's funny. There's nothing upset in this room. <coughs> what is it? What's oh, the doctor? Cousin James. He's dead. Uh. No, no, he's coming around, all right. Get some water, quick, in the surgery. I'll get him up. There. Here. 
There, there. You're all right. Well, what happened? The Iron Claw. He was here. Are you sure? Yes. I never believed he existed. And suddenly, there he was before me. You're safe now. Oh, there's nothing of value here. You're a Benson. Evidently, that was enough. Oh, I must get out of here. I have work to do at the hospital. Can you make it? Yes, I'll be all right. Why didn't you ask him about the car? Plenty of time for that. We'll use the element of surprise. Well, I see you got him. And he put up a battle, too. Wait a minute, Casey. Dr. Benson isn't the claw. He's only another of the victims. I see. You're trying to hog all the credit for yourself while I'm taking him in. You lay a hand on me and I'll sue you for false arrest. You heard him. I'm a victim of the claw. Better spend your time finding my poor uncle. Oh, your uncle. That portion of the case is closed. Anton's car was found parked down at the waterfront and he sailed away on a small vessel. Sailed? Nothing. He was kidnapped. Well, maybe, but he sailed. Are you sure of that? Sure, I'm sure. Seen by four witnesses. You don't think I'm making it up, do you? Come on, I gotta write headlines. Why did these crooks say they were headed for? Well, I heard some men discussing about uh, Portel Cortez. I thought they were talking about a person, but Bob insists it's a place. Yes, I looked it up. It's a dot on the map just below the border. Just a stone's throw from a small isolated harbor. Come on, Chief, let us go, will you? I'll bring you back the story of the year. Nothing doing. Can't go. Give me cash here. Hello, Fred. That crazy headline hunter Bob Lane's coming down. Give him all the expense money he wants. Charge it to special assignment. Hey, do you mean I can go? You heard what I said. Better get going before I change my mind. Come on, let's make it snappy. What a place to come to. Oh, shut up, Flash. It's too hot to argue. Cheer up, we're coming to civilization. Senores, ¿cómo están ustedes? Uh, we're looking for friends. Anyone pass here lately? Uh, you are the first in three days. The heat is so bad, it's tremendous. You ain't kidding. Hey, how about some chow? Huh? Yeah, you know, food, eat, feedback. Oh, si, senor, como no. Comer, dice usted. <laughs> Carmelita! What is it, Pedro? Prepara una comida mexicana muy buena para los señores. Sí, unos tamalitos con cebollita, unos frijolitos y unos, una molcunda. Como acostumbramos nosotros a comerla. Sí, sí, seguro. What did she say? My wife, she says she fix them. Hey, you hear that gang? We're going to eat hot dogs. <laughs> oh, no, señor. No, señor. No hot dogs in my house. Well, I don't care as long as it's hot food. Muy bien. Carmelita, make it very hot. <laughs> oh, uh, fill her up and put her in the shade, somewhere out of sight. Muy bien, señor. Enseguida. We're lucky again. No one knows of our landing. I never feel safe in this wilderness. If we're fortunate, this will be our last trip. Well, it may be our last trip anyway. I haven't got your confidence that we got away unseen. Stop whining. Get going. Maybe it's Uncle Anton. And maybe not. I'll see. Un momento, customers. Buenos dias, senor. Hi, bud. Has anyone passed here lately? No, senor. No one has passed. Uh, well, fill it up. Si, senor. We'll try and keep them from finding out we're here. But if they do come in, you get Pat away while I stall them. He'll do nothing of the kind. Now, don't argue. Senora, those men outside mustn't see us. Tell your husband quickly. You understand? Si, senor. Si. Oh, muchas gracias, senor. Hey, Silk. If you ask me, I think it's a wild goose chase. Well, nobody's asking you. I'll give the orders, you carry them out. Pedro. Okay. I wonder what they're mumbling about. What's all the mystery, brother? Oh, yo no comprendo, senor. Well, that woman, what was she whispering about? Oh, my wife, she called me for dinner. Ah. Two dollars and 20 cents, please. 
My husband, he say nothing. Thank you very much. All right, come on, load up. We've got work to do. Oh, boy, let me at it. They're lethal. Oh! 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 I thought you said there was no one here. No, my wife. Well, so it's our nosal reporter and his watchdog. I resent that last crack. This isn't a social call, I take it. Cut the stalling. I know what you're down here for. Why stall? We're both down here for the same thing. I'm going to get my share or else. Well, so the high and mighty reporter has a price. All right, that's enough for both of us. We'll make a deal. The idea of dealing with you. Yeah, no dice. Shut up, you two, and get out. But you're not. Remember what I told you a while ago? Now get out fast before I lose my temper. Why, Bob? Come on, get out. You two. Uh... I'm not talking in front of them either. Dismiss your gorillas. Scram, you guys. Don't you remember? Before they came in, he said I was to get you away while he stalled him. Come on, let's get rolling. No, I'm not leaving without him. Well, all right, have it your own way. Now, the only proposition I'm interested in is 50-50. I'll settle with my mob and you settle with yours. No soap. But you said you'd deal. Sure, long enough for Jack to get away with the girl. And you fell for it. Why, you double cross. <laughs> Get a jam. Well, what are you waiting for? They're fighting. Yeah, I know. Keep your fingers crossed. Pedro winged them. They're laid up for repairs. Now, Jives, tomorrow we'll... Uh, tomorrow? Why put it off? Let's get the stuff and get out tonight. Suppose somebody followed us here. <laughs> I'll quiet your fears. This place has always been prepared for unwelcome visitors. Get up. Look behind you. Keep your eye on the floor. See, all we have to do is entice our unwelcome visitor to the table, to talk it over. The trap opens, the trap closes, an accident. <laughs> Only a man like you could think of a thing like that. Is that so? Well, watch that you're not the first to try it out. As a matter of fact, you worry too much. You know, Jives, sometimes your arguments annoy me. Well, if you want somebody to yes you, get somebody else. Well, that's the place. I'm sure of it. Suppose it isn't Uncle. It's your Uncle, all right. That gang is behind us. What did I tell you? Now you'll have a chance to try this thing out. Get that light out, quick! The hat. What about the trap? We'll use that if we have to. That light 
going out. Maybe there was no light. I didn't see one. Well, you two wait in the car. I'll go in. No, if you're going in, we're going in too. Light that lantern. Well, maybe there's no oil in it. Well, go and see. All right. Ouch! What's the matter? Well, this thing's hot. Then someone has been in. See for yourself. Oh, it's only warm. It's that nosy reporter and his stooge. Well, you'll never write this story. Well, let's search the place and get this uncertainty over. I'm not taking any chances. We will as soon as it's daylight. Well, they're in there all right. Out your light. Just before we get there, cut your motor and we'll coast up on Get the things out of the car and make the little lady comfortable. Oh, I bet. And now, does he have another wicked plan to get the gold? Will Anton and Jives find the buried treasure? Will they be able to keep it away from those who wish to steal it? Be sure to see the cul-de-sac, next week's ghostly, gaspy chapter of the Iron Claw. Fabulous fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? When Anton and Jives cross the border in search of the treasure, the Iron Claw follows. Then, when Bob Lane and Patricia interfere with his plans, he attacks them with terrifying treachery.
goes for comfort. Well, how about me? I fight my brains out and you thank her. I'm grateful, Flash. I took it for granted you helped her. Oh, he fought like a lion, but the gunshots outside really frightened him away. That means whoever it was may attack us next. If they don't, the crooks will. A fine bunch you are. We have a fortune almost in our grasp and you run away. You can't fight an army, can you? Army nothing, just a few gunshots. You ran away too, didn't you? Come on, let's go. Listen, we're not leaving here till I locate that gold. And I'm still the boss. Jake, sneak back and see what they're doing. This was no accident. It was a deliberate trap. We gotta watch our step. Let's leave here, Bob. The gold isn't worth risking our lives for. No, we're safer here than anywhere. That gang is still outside there somewhere. Bob's right. They'll pick us off like a lot of ripe bananas if we go out there right now. Oh, what is it? The doors are wide open. Oh. Oh. They're all alone in there. It looks like they settled for the night. Well, we'll beat it away till morning, but not far. They'll think we've gone, and if they make a move, we'll jump them. Boy, we got a break. The gang beat it. Maybe. I'm going to make sure. <coughs> what is it? The claw. The claw? Stay here with Pat. the claw. He sure made a fast getaway. Come on, Pat. Let's get back inside quick. Yeah, with him here, we're sure in for it. Let's leave here. We heard Silk and his men drive away. No, they wouldn't go far until they got what they came for. Between crooks and claws, I'm going to be a mental case. Who do you suppose the claw could be? Seems to be everywhere. Who else but your Uncle Anton or that creepy butler of his? I'll never believe that. No, all no. right, all right. Be stubborn. You ask me. Now, listen, I... this is no time to argue. We got to get some sleep. Now, please, Pat, we'll search for your uncle in the morning. Now, you take orders. Try and get that trap closed. I'll get the things out of the car. Gladly, mister. Gladly. What about our visitors? No sign of life in the hacienda. The mobsters are camped on the hillside, all fast asleep. We'll be on our way and let them fight it out when they wake up. around at all hours. For a good thing you're a poor shot. What time is it? Almost daylight and time we start on our search. I'm beginning here. What's the matter with you? Sleep on the job. Oh, nothing's gonna happen. Then who's that in that car? I never even heard a goodbye. Of course you didn't. Come on, you fellas. Wake up! Wake up! What's the matter? What do you want? He may have another mob to contend with. You two stay here while I look things over. Oh, like fun we will. I'm going along, too. That goes double. There's safety in numbers. No telling where this leads to. We'll find out, that's sure. Get set. Silk's gang's about to attack in force. In an auto, you're crazy. It's someone else. Why, James. Yes, James. Well, what are you doing here? Why, I came to get you, of course. Why else would I neglect my practice to come to this forsaken place? Well, how did you know I was here? Well, that's perfectly plain. Where else could you be? Patricia, your action is inexcusable. Coming down here with this yellow journalist, this headline hunter. He means you. And his nitwit photographing stool. And that's you. We're leaving at once. I'm not leaving until we find Uncle Anton. If Anton's here, it's because he wanted to come. 
He'll thank us for not interfering with his plan. It might interest you to know that Silk Langdon and his gang followed us down here. And they're hanging around somewhere right now. I can't believe that. I saw no one. It's true. Besides that, the claw was here. The claw? That's all the more reason for you to leave. I'm staying until this mystery is cleared up. No mystery to me. Anton's the claw and nobody else. I resent that. You must admit things point that way. We follow Anton and run into the claw. It's happened several times before. I hope to clear it up before the day is out. Oh, that's silly. Well, if we're going to argue, we might as well be comfortable. Here, Pat. Wait. Raise the bridge. We're taking no chances on being followed. See here, Lane. If I tell you the identity of the claw, will you leave here so I can get my cousin to return home? I might if the story will hold up. Oh, none of his stories hold up. I've done a lot of research since my uncle Culver Benson was murdered, and I learned that Captain Flint of the Sally Ann was a one-armed man who had an iron hook in place of a hand. Go on. Now, Anton and Culver undoubtedly cheated the rest of the treasure hunters out of their share. Perhaps got rid of them, one by one. For I can find no trace of any survivors except Captain Flint. He definitely is alive. Isn't it probable that he has replaced the hook with this iron claw and has returned to revenge himself on Anton and all members of the family? Oh, that must be the reason Uncle Culver was so frightened the night he was killed. And why Uncle Anton ran away. Why, certainly. A nice story, Doctor but nobody could publish it without being sure of the facts. Sorry, Doc, I'm staying here until convinced there's no story. And you? Sorry, James, I'm sticking with the boys. Oh, very well, I wash my hands of the whole affair. If disaster comes upon you, I won't be responsible. That's the best I can do. Cheerful lady. He's right, Pat. This is no place for you. You better go back with him. Well, suppose he takes me back. I'm not much good here. No, you're sticking. If the story's here, we'll need pictures. Well, that bird didn't stay long. Why didn't we knock him off? He isn't worth anything to us. We're after the treasure. We'll give the others time to locate it, and then we'll take it away from them. There isn't any argument. I won't go, and I won't stay here alone. I'm going with you. All right, have it your own way. Let's get it over with. Oh, here we go. Someone passed there recently, too. The dust hasn't settled yet. How do you expect to slip up on anyone if you fire a barrage like that? It was only an owl. Well, how did I know it was an owl? Didn't hoot. Keep back of me and quiet. What were you shooting at? I wasn't shooting. I thought it was you, not me. Well, yeah, there's nothing to worry about. Those who are following us are probably battling each other. Get on with your work and hurry. Why don't you come and take a spell at this? Oh, get on with it. Get on with it. There. Surely you're not afraid, are you? It's dead. If I was only sure he was dead. There hasn't been a move down there in a long time. What do you think? Let's go down and find out. Right. Boys. We're moving. All right, Adam. The chest's uncovered. All right. Open it up. We'll take it all this time. These trips are becoming too dangerous. This is 
the end of the trail. Now we can go back home. Nothing doing. We'll go back and get ropes and timbers to cross this place. We've gone too far in this to stop now. Well, I got a better idea than that. We'll make whoever's over there lower the bridge. Hello! You bat! All right. You keep loading it. I didn't do any harm. Nothing happened. You did everything you could to make something happen. We'll get those ropes and timbers. They'd be the while the gold was good. Red's right. They got away. Oh, got away nothing. We haven't taken our eyes off of the place. They're here. We've got to find them. There's nothing in there. Hey, Silk, this place leads to an underground passage. Good. Let's look it over. trailing him? Don't make a move or I'll let the girl have it. All right. What do you want? I want all of you to come over here where I can watch you. And don't try any tricks. What'd you find out? Nothing. These tunnels lead to a blind chasm, impossible to cross. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? What good would that do me? None. But I ain't taking any chances. And I'm taking the girl for safekeeping. Get her, Slim. Get her away! and his men been? Can it be they've discovered the treasure? Does the Iron Claw have a plan to win his battle at last? What dreadful machine has he concocted this time? Learn the answer to these exciting questions in The Curse of the Cave, next week's spine-chilling chapter of the Iron Claw.
fortune is at stake. The iron claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the iron claw? At last, the treasure is found. The gangsters make a grab for it. But Bob Lane and Patricia get there first. But they haven't reckoned with the iron claw. With merciless persistence, he traps them in the under tunnels. Treasure. The bridge is down. Then we're caught. I can't make speed with these burrows. Hurry, you fool. I'll keep them from following you. Go down the trail and wait for me. to the gold. to keep me away from that treasure. Let's get out of here. All right, get going if you want to. I'll keep it all for myself. Oh, no, you oh, don't. Oh, you don't. <laughs> somewhere. We'll follow it and get back to the hacienda. It's a long way, but our only chance. Bring him down here. It's all right, Uncle Anton. You're safe now. Maybe yes and maybe no. You tried to pull a fast one and missed. Now, we're going to get our share of that treasure. You're not going to live to enjoy it. Is that plain? I know of no treasure. Believe me. Let me go. I'm a very sick man. Well, you're going to be a lot sicker if you don't talk. Everybody knows you came down here to get more gold, but we're too fast for you. Now, tell us where it is. Wait. Wait. I'll tell you the truth. Now, we're getting somewhere. I didn't come here. I was kidnapped. Kidnapped? Who did it? The claw. 
He and his gang overpowered poor Jives and brought me here. Well, that's a lot of malarkey. I'm not falling for a routine like that. Please, at least let him finish. Then snap it up. I'm getting impatient. Oh, the journey was a nightmare. I lost consciousness. The first thing I remember, I was here. The claw tortured me and insisted that I knew the hiding place of a vast treasure. Now you're talking. Go on. I told him of the story of the treasure to be a myth born in the imagination of some silly fool. There is no treasure. I think you're stalling. But you're going to tell plenty before we get through with you. Boys! Get him the works. Oh, oh. Wait, wait. No more. No more. Please. Oh, you murderer. If he dies, it's your fault. Ah, uh, he ain't going to die. Well, the claw was mighty careless not to search you, wasn't he? All right, the jig's up. Now, I want the truth and nothing else but. Hey, sure. Look. Look what I found. The skull sure is shooting. You're right for once. And Grandpa here is going to tell us where the cash register is. Ain't you? Or do I have to get rough? Oh, tell him, Uncle, if you know. You'll kill him if you don't kill both of us. You've got something there, sister, and my fingers are getting itchy. Now, how about it, Grandpa? Wait. If I tell you, will you release my niece and myself? I ain't promising nothing. Where's the gold? In that niche in the rock behind the old net. Go see if he's lying. And if you are... He's right, Silk. It's chock full. You greedy fools, you see what you did? You let him get away. It'll take dynamite to get through here. We'll search all the tunnels. Slim, you and Duke stay here and guard the girl. The rest of you come with me. Sit down, sister. You're not going bye-bye. Slim. Yeah, they leave us with a good looker and the gold. Things could be worse. You keep an eye on it while I pick it up. Well, we'll go pick it up later. A lot of good it'll do you. Every coin has a curse on it. Yeah, I've heard too much money fast. These matter trips get me. Come on, we can't afford to rest. Jumping Jupiter, Jive's beating it with the swag. Right, it couldn't be anything else. I got a nifty. Well, this is one fight I can win. I can beat that old geezer by blowing it. Wait a minute. Have you forgotten the pad is still a prisoner? We have to save her. Let the gold go. Oh, but... Oh, how can we find her? Those burrows came out of the tunnel somewhere. We'll follow their hoof prints. Oh, backwards, huh? Yes, backwards. Oh, boy, it's good to see daylight again. We'll get you filled because you're going right back in. Oh, have a heart, Silk. That bird's loose in there. He might try to bump us off. The treasure's in there, too, ain't it? Yeah, but we may spend a whole lifetime trying to find it, running through all those tunnels. Okay, okay, stop your whining. We'll keep this entrance covered. If Anton tries to get out this way, we'll nab him. If he tries to go by the bridge, Duke and Slim will get him. You're going to help me fight. Really fight. Oh, have a heart. They've been licking us every time. Sooner or later, somebody's going to get hurt. Surprise will help. If we can capture Silk, we'll hold him as hostage till they deliver Pat to us safe and sound. Are you going to help me, or shall I attempt it alone? Lead on. I'm sucker enough to follow you. <laughs> you waste your time, Slim. Well, he went through here someplace. The monks are gone. They must have known I was coming. Come on, don't be in a hurry. Give me a minute or two to get in the position and do as I told you. Yeah! What was that? It sounded like a wild animal. See what that is. Who, me? Yes, you. Oh, have a heart. I'm not able to fight wild animal. Let's shoot at it. We'll scare it away, huh? All right, go ahead and shoot. No talk.
Now, one move from any of you, and goodbye, Silk. Take it easy, boys. We haven't got a chance. Yellow, huh? Now, I'm counting five. And if you're not out of sight by that time, I'll let Silk have it. One, two, three. You heard what he said. Beat it! Where's the girl? The truth now, I'd love to finish you. Is she safe? I'll take you to her. Okay, lead off. But any tricks and you'll get it. What are they doing with Silk? We should worry, he let us go. Oh, come on, let's beat it. No, nothing doing. Stay right here. After the fighting we've been through, we'll get our share. We'll stay here and we'll wait for results. Hey, Duke, look, I found it. I told you I'd find it. Great, I'll go tell Silk. Don't be a sap. Why tell him? We found it, didn't we? We'll grab all the gold we can carry and beat it over the bridge. Silk will kill us if we double cross him. He don't need to know. We can bury the stuff and come back for more. What about her? We'll take her with us. And if she fell off that bridge, it'd be perfect. Oh. Grab her! Where the treasure is. I'm game. Let's go in after it. Wait, Silk and his mob will be back prepared to kill us this time. Oh, well, then let's get out of here. Right. We'll cross the bridge and get back to the Hacienda. What about the treasure? We'll have to wait till we get you to safety. boys here just said, they found the secret entrance to the treasure room. Are you willing to go back? Please. Sure. sure. No, no, now no. you're set. Come, Come on, Go back and get by Silk and his gang somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That means another fight and somebody's sure to get hurt this time. Well, it won't be you. Well, bet on that. Wait a minute. We'll change our plans. We'll go through the secret door that Anton used. There's sure to be some way out. Now you're talking. Cinch. Oh, come on, come on. Give me a chance, will you? We've never been this way before. Just 
Dr. Benson deal with the gangsters? What are the Iron Claw's new plans? Do his shots meet their mark? Don't miss The Doctor's Bargain, next week's dynamic chapter of The Iron Claw. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? Whoever he is, he's not the only one after the gold. Silk Langdon and his gang force Anton to give it up. Bob Lane and Patricia rescue the old man, but the Iron Claw drags them into a new and horrible danger. We've never been this way before. Listen! What's that rumble? Earthquake! <gasps> Passage is blocked off. Try the front! the trouble's over. The gold's in there. Are we going to leave it flat? I wouldn't go back in there again for all the gold in Fort Knox. Well, I'm I'd have it it okay, okay, okay. The deal's off. I can't handle it alone. We'll get back to the car then and beat it. And before I could do anything, the claw was on me like a wild animal. Then the claw was here during the earthquake. Here? Why, man, he caused it from that room. Benson's right. That earthquake was man-made. Right, my eye. You don't make earthquakes. It just happened. Yeah? Well, what about all this machinery? I don't know. So, they just happened. Well, anyway, I'll bet that old geezer's the claw sure as shoot. We'll question him about the gold. If he lies about that, we'll be convinced he's the claw. Your uncle was right, Pat. The claw caused the cave-in. What about the treasure? Do you deny that you were after it? Of course not. Thank goodness I got it away safely. And Jives has it out on the trail, waiting for me to join him. Then it's as good as gone. Silk and his men will find him and take it. There's nothing we can do to stop him. No. I know a way out of here. If we hurry, we can beat them. Lead on, Grandpa. We're willing. Sunk. 
see. I said let's beat it. We don't want any gun battle. Oh, shut up. What are you doing, turning canaries at the sound of a pop gun? Jake, circle around and see who's laying down that barrage. Well, I apologize, Grandpa. You did your stuff nifty. Oh, I, I must rest. You'll be all right, Uncle. We're out now. We must get off. I'm anxious to get back. Now, here's the setup. That butler's up there guarding the treasure. Those burrows are loaded down with it. That's perfect. With the others trapped in the cave, we'll take him. Now, scatter out. Keep under cover and pick him off. Under cover is right. Dead men don't spend any gold. You hear that? The battle's on. That gold's as good as gone. Your uncle back to the house again. Jack and I'll try and help Giles. Short of ammunition, then what? Well, then so is he. We'll draw his fire until it's through, and then we'll rush him. Hey, look! There's a whole gang of them! Now, listen closely. Our lives may depend on what you do. Well, then give it to me slow. This is no time for mistakes. I'm going over to meet them. You get up to the top of the hill. Me. I won't deliver the gold to anyone but him. That's okay by me. First, let's drive those men off. There's a stream over there. I'll get you some water. You haven't got another gun, have you? I'm out of ammunition. All I have is this gun. When it's empty, we're done for. Don't worry, we can count on Jack. Here, give me that rifle. Why ain't they firing? Because they haven't anything to fire with. They're through. Boys! Come on, men! We'll rush them and get the stuff! Get back to the burrows. We'll fight them. Jack! We'll take the gold back to the Hacienda. Ant will be waiting. Fine. Hey, Jack, come on down. Let's put the gold in the car. I'll get the others. We have to get out of here fast. Right. Hey. They're not here yet. Anthem must have collapsed again. Go back down the trail and help Pat in with them. You think something has happened to my master? Oh, no, he's all right. Hey, Silk. Wait. Don't shoot till you find out who it is. I'm a friend. 
What do you mean, friend? What do you want? It's about the gold. Spill it. They've got the gold, and they're going to make a getaway. Let them try. We'll blast them before they can get very far. Have the law hang you for your trouble and take the gold in the bargain? I've got a better way. Well? Trade my cousin Patricia for gold. They'll deal. And we could divide it and slip it over the border. Okay, brother, it's a deal. You go down and make the trade. Well, I can't appear in on this. It would ruin everything. You'll have to do it. Not me. They might get the drop on me again. Hey, Slim, you go down and handle it. Oh, all right. Hey, Jake, Kirk. Tie them both up, just in case this is a shenanigan. That's ridiculous. What about a game by running away? Never mind. We're tying you up just the same. I did it to get you out of this. These men are killers, believe me. I don't believe you, and these men would be fools to trust you. You double-cross them, too, if you had the chance. Let them try it, sister. We'll take care of them in a big way. Let's go. What's keeping the others? They should have been here. They don't come soon. I'll go see myself. Hey, fella. I'm unarmed. I'll make a deal with you. It's a trick to get us away from the gold. Don't do it. They may have that. If so, we'll have to deal. You guard the car. Talk fast. What's the deal? All right, I'll make it short and snappy. We'll turn over the girl safe and sound in return for the swag. And if I refuse? Don't be silly, fella. Master, I... Quiet, you fool. We can get the gold away. Help me. Hurry! But they've got to have loaded. Never mind that. We can still get it. All right, it's a deal. But no dice unless the girl is returned first. That's easy. I thought you were unarmed. I was, as far as you're concerned. Here, you shoot it. Twice. That'll bring the girl. There's Slim's signal. He's made the deal. Let's get the girl. Well, what about me? Relax. I'll leave you tied up to make sure you're not playing any games. <laughs> it's all yours, Silk. You listen to reason. Don't deal with him, Bob. It's a trick. Shut up. He has sense if you haven't. Let me handle this alone, Pat, please. You've kind of dropped your high and mighty manners, haven't you? Do you want to finish the deal, or do you want to glow a while longer? The quicker, the better. All right. Pat, go get in the car. Start the motor, and then I'll tell him where the stuff is. Wait a minute, you. Nothing doing. It's part of the deal. That's right, Silk. All right. But don't you try anything. Go ahead, Pat. Find what you want on the floor of the car. Well, this stuff is heavy. Are you sure that's the last of it? Yes, that's the last. Good. <laughs> what are you trying to pull? There's nothing in that car. It was there. I give you my word. Well, your word is not enough. I don't understand. The gold was in the car. I put it there myself. The deal is off. We're taking the girl back. Get her, Slim. No, you don't! Station. They're 
guns there will hold them off. Stop, Bob, and let him in. And let them catch us, nothing doing. Hold tight. Then you must get us guns, quick. Bandits are coming. Gracias, senor. Don't get out. Going to be big fight. More fight, hurry. There's no gold in here. They're hiding out in that gas station. Well, we'll blast them out and make them tell us where it is. fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? Silk Langdon kidnaps Patricia. In spite of the Iron Claw, Bob Lane rescues her. Then, taking refuge in a filling station, they face certain doom in the midst of a terrible gun battle. Red, Jake! I know a way to get him out of there. See that truck? Yeah, what about it? I'll tell you what to do. I want to borrow your truck. Oh, no, you can. Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> Our only 
chances to get away in their car. Let's make a run for it. Hey. find our cars out of gas. Well, they were the ones that shot the tank full of holes. Yeah, the saps. No. No, I haven't found a thing. I've searched everywhere. Why don't you get over here and help? They may return at any moment and... Wait! Somebody coming now. How should I know? I'll phone you later. Oh, we're in a fix. I haven't any key. There's nothing at all? Not that I know of. No, are you here? Well, why shouldn't I be here? My father's missing. Killed, perhaps. Then he hasn't returned? You keep out of this. You're to blame for most of our trouble. That isn't true. He's trying to help. He found Uncle Anthony. With Mrs. Leach here, you're safe. I'm going to clean up, then get back to the office with my story. You can reach me there. I'll see you later. Goodbye. And I couldn't tell who or how many there were. A parasite! Uh, I'd like to see the doctor. I had an accident. Crushed my hand. A gentleman, doctor, injured hand. Can you see him now? You may go right in. Thanks. Hiya, Doc. Surprised, ain't you? You? What are you doing here? My nurse said that... Yeah, I know. Sit down. My hand needed a little attention, and you being an old friend, I knew you'd help me out. You remember our little agreement? Yes, I... 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 Uh, I'll do what I can. Yeah, I knew you would. What happened? A uh, little accident. I had a gun in my hand and it... The bullet there? Yeah. Five of them. Five of them? Oh. Here. What does this mean? Just this, double-crosser. You're gonna tell me everything you know about that treasure or else? I know less than you do. The treasure disappeared. Of course it did. But you had a hand in it. You broke loose and ran away, didn't you? No, the claw appeared, attacked me, and left me for dead. Some uh, prospectors found me wandering, dazed, and, and took me to the border. Stow it. You ain't marked up any. Now you talk turkey. Wait, I'll talk. My deal with you still stands. I thought you would. You see, Adam Benson and his butler had the gold. You saw it. Now, during your fight with the reporters, they got away with it. Now, isn't it plausible that they brought it back and it's somewhere at the house right now? Yeah, that's right. Have your men get it and we'll share equally. Yes? Uh, Mr. Robert Lane, he insists upon seeing you, sir. That reporter again, I can't see him. Don't be a sap. See him. Pump him dry. You ain't taking no chances. I'll see they don't start nothing. Tell him to come in. Have Mr. Lane come in, please. Yes, sir. It's nice of you to see me, Doctor. I had no appointment. I'm sure this isn't a professional visit. Kindly get to it quickly. I'm a busy man. Okay, Doctor. I'll make it snappy. Now, I have a story, a good story, about the Benson treasure, the happenings below the border. I need someone to substantiate the facts. You know, a test of the truth. You're the man. Do you think I'd lend a hand in dragging my family's name through the mire? You have dealings with a gang of crooks. I have proof of that. Now, unless you help me, I'll swear out a warrant for your arrest. Well, you see, my niece Patricia was their prisoner, and my contact with them was a sincere effort to secure her freedom. Yes, and I know every one of those men. And when this story breaks, they'll all be under lock and key. And I'll appear against them with enough evidence to get them the book. Thanks for tipping your hand. 
You ain't printing no story nor getting any warrants because I'm finishing you right here. No, you mustn't. Oh, no, I... don't worry. He hasn't the courage. Don't depend on that. But I do. Uh, call the police. One move and I'll let you have it, too. Oh, well, all right. I'll do it myself. All right, you asked for it. You fool! You killed him! <laughs> Get out of here! Keep your mouth shut or I'll shut it for you! Yes, with an accident, keep quiet. This. Well, you ain't as much as I am. We'll toss him out the window and make our getaway before anybody finds out who he is. Give me a hand. Trying to help? You said frighten him. Frighten him? You nearly scared me to death. Mm -hmm. Ruined everything. Hey, let's get out of here before the police. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Well, someone's in there. What do we do? Stay here. Guard the passage. I'll go back to the treasure. I came across a map of all the underground passages. I investigated and I found the gold. Bags and bags of it. Oh, you'd never find it alone. You have to go through a lot of passages and... Hello, hello? Hello, hello? Oh, well, thanks. The line was cut. That means trouble and trouble means Benson. Oh. Come on.
right there in time. Oh, we're a cinch. We haven't missed a fight yet. that Roy Benson is really the claw? Why is he so angry at the gangsters? See it all in the secret door, next week's terrifying 13th chapter of the Iron Claw.
fortune is at stake. The iron claw is hot. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the iron claw? Patricia finally discovers the hidden treasure, but the iron claw is right behind her. Before Bob Lane can prevent it, they both fall victims to the claw's most horrible machine. those cops that were shooting. Don't be a fool. There are no police there. Somebody tricked you. Unless you move fast, you'll be too late. All right, boys, we're moving. Miss Millie! Miss Millie! All right. leave here till I give the word to go. Hey, I can't find no door along here. Well, keep looking. I saw that photographer fall through it. Tell us when we get back to the house. Yeah.
seems quiet enough. It sure does. But just when you think everything is quiet and serene, something sneaks out from behind the wallpaper and grabs you. Hmm. Now you two patrol the grounds and keep your eyes open or you'll be a couple of pup pigeons. You better lie down and rest. Quiet. They must not know yet that I've returned. Huh. My house has become a thoroughfare for police and reporters, as well as my worthless relatives. Serves you right. You won't take advice. Give me the earphones. What is it now? Shh, quiet. Pat, are you sure you had it when you left here? I'm not sure of anything. But what's become of Millie? When I left her here, she was unconscious. Millie, huh? Millie, you don't suppose Our she... job is to find Millie. I'll bet you she can tell us plenty. Let's go to her room. I'm starting a search of the house. We've got to clear them out of here. I have a marvelous idea if you listen. All right, all right, tell me as we go. Millie, Millie! She isn't here. Let's try Uncle Anton's room. Hey! What do you got there? A couple of those old Spanish coins. Hey, that shows somebody else is after the treasure, too. Oh, it came from in there. Let's see. Oh, not me. Come on. Go ahead. Bust it in. Nobody here. Don't be too sure. Oh, there's a body under there. It's Millie. Stand back, Pat. Get it out. The arm of the law. Casey, what are you doing under there? Well, I ain't playing hide-and-go-seek. I stuck my head in and some guy bobbed me. Have you seen my cousin Millie? I've seen nothing but stars. What, is that woman gone too? The claw may have got her. The claw? I'd telephone the inspector. Oh, Casey, why jump at conclusions? Get me the inspector. This is Casey speaking. Hold it, Casey. I can... Look at the gold we found upstairs. Maybe Millie has located the treasure. The treasure? Let me see that. Oh, so uh, you found some of the gold, eh? If Millie found it, she's taken it and skipped. Let me see those coins. Never mind the gold, Doctor. Just explain what Silk Landon was doing in your office yesterday and why you helped him when he tried to murder me. What's this? Nobody told me anything about it. Don't be a fool, Lane. Silk came to blackmail me. When you come in, he had us both covered with a gun. I had to play his game to save my life and yours. Sounds fishy, Doc. And where do you think you're going? I'm going home, officer. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, lady, but you'll have to come inside and explain to me, Superior. Why, this is an outrage. I'm sorry, but you'll have to come but along. I... Come on, come on. And that's the story. Well, what are you doing here? Well, I knew Silk and his gang intended to raid the house and search for the gold. That's why I came tonight. You take your hands off me. You understand? Leave me alone. This is my father's house. Ah, Millie, so they caught you, eh? <sighs> Well, what is this? She was trying to scram in her car. No, so you're trying to make your getaway, huh? Come, I'll cross-examine you. Now, speak up, Miss Leach. Where have you been hiding? I haven't been hiding. The iron claw attacked me, and I fainted. When I came to, I, I was frightened. I tried to get away when this stupid officer... She means you, O'Malley. ...tried to stop me. Did the claw dirty your hands like that, Mrs. Leach, or were you digging somewhere? Uh, wait a minute, let me... You stay out of this. And remember, anything you say will be used against you. It might be a good idea to watch the doctor. He just beat it. James, he's gone. He's stolen my car. Oh! Oh! Come on, O'Malley. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. James has stolen it. Ah! Well, 
Oh, she's fainted, Casey. Get her in the house. Call Somebody, help. Give me your hand here. Come on. The woman fainted in my arms. I telephoned the inspector about this. That's a lot of fuss to make about some second-hand bus. And I know why. The gold is probably in her car. Well, it's goodbye gold. Doc's made a getaway. I'm going after it. Not without me. What about me? No, you stay here. Keep an eye on Millie. She can tell us plenty. <laughs> We're running out of gas. Well, that's nothing to laugh about. Pull off the road quick. We can't afford to stall on the highway. It's a cinch they'll be after us. We'll lose the gold, sure. Ah, oh, shut up. We'll hide the gold under the porch of that shack. And after they go through, we'll load up with gas and make a getaway with it. Now get busy. You shouldn't have come. The doctor won't give up the gold without a fight. Well, I'm safer here than at the house. All I'm worried about is that you won't catch up with him. Here. Now, that's the last of it. Now, get those steps back in place there. Come on. Well, don't shoot you what advertisers being here. Let them go by. Fine chance. They'll see that car. What if they do? The car's empty. If they get near the goal, we'll finish them. Now, scram out of here. Look, Bob. There's Millie's car. My hunch was good. Millie's car, all right. The gold is gone. One man couldn't carry the stuff very far. He'd find a hiding place and then go for help. There's the mine shed over there. Yeah, we'll take a look. It's all right, there's nobody here. There's a lantern, let's have a light. <coughs> been here. It's too dusty. Well, they wouldn't leave it in plain sight. Let's take a look around. Now what? They'll find nothing in there and they'll start to search outside. Then it'll be goodbye gold. That's simple. We won't let them come out. There's nothing here, that's certain. Yes, I guess my hunch was wrong. We'd better get back to the house. The goal must be somewhere close, and they're going to try to keep us... Lay down, little pack! Hold this gun. We'll put the period on them. You fellas keep blasting. Red, you, Jake, come with me. Now, Jake, get this. Turn the car around and tie the rope to the rear buffer. Get going, Red. Now, Jake, you wait for the signal. Right. It's getting tough, Pat. I only got a few shots left. It's all right. They'll have to come here to get us. Actions getting him in trouble. Does old Anton finally reveal his secret? 
his hard-hearted jives ever going to show his hand? Are the Claws plans finally going to be successful? Don't miss The Evil Eye, next week's secret smashing chapter of The Iron Claw. fortune is at stake. The iron claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction, brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the iron claw? Bob Lane thinks he knows. He misses catching the claw by inches. And then, when he and Patricia track down the gold, Silk Langdon blasts them with a furious fusillade of gunfire. Now, Jake, get this. Turn the car around and tie the rope to the rear bumper. Get going, Red. Now, Jake, you wait for the signal. Right. Getting tough, Pat. I only got a few shots left. That's all right. They'll have to come here to get us. Now we can load this stuff at leisure. Pack it down to the car. Hurry. Look, Bob, the gold. And it's my job to try and keep them from getting away with it. Come on, come on, step on it. Get under cover. I'm going to try and stop them. What are you stopping here for? Don't you hear it? Gunshots in that direction. Well, what are you, mouse or man? Get at it! Never mind them. Get in the car, quick! Tough! Beat it! Where are they going? We got a break, Pat. My shots brought the police. I thought you said that smart partner of yours was after him. I was after him, Casey. You'll find the gold in this trunk. <clears throat> oh! Suffering snakes, so it is. Well, what a fix you'd have been in if I hadn't come along. What happened? We'd better get back to the house and then talk. All right. You go back to the police car. I'm taking this in myself. All right. Get on the way.
Did you recover the gold? I certainly did. I never missed. Oh, that's marvelous. Well, now you can turn it over to me. To you? What for? I'm Anton's daughter, his direct heir. But there's no proof that Anton is dead. Besides, the gold is evidence. And I'm holding it until I hear from the inspector. O'Malley, give me a hand with that trunk. O'Malley, did you hear what I said? I... <laughs> Now, I love a joke, but this has gone too far. Now, whoever took it, put it back. Casey, this is no joke. Don't you see? The straps have been cut in me. <laughs> what do you know about this? No more than you do. That ain't enough. O'Malley, bring him in. There's skullduggery going on here, and I'm going to telephone the inspector. Come on. Well, I... Come on. Yes. Here, wait a minute, quiet down, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, none of you leave this room until I get orders from the inspector. See here, officer, I'm going to hold you responsible. The gold was in your charge. All right, all right. Wait till I hear from the inspector. All right, inspector, I will. See, I was right. The inspector says no one is to leave here. And where is that reporter guy? He went to see what he could find out. Go get him a Mary and bring him back dead or alive. <laughs> here, here, here. Now cut it out. Cut it out, the both of you. Now come on, get up here. Come on. Cut it out, the both of you, and get into the house. Come on now, come on. All right, Inspector. I'll keep you posted. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't give me any yeah. argument. Well, where did you find him? Outside, fighting like wildcats. I demand that you arrest him on a charge of felonious assault. I didn't recognize you. If you'd walk out in the open like an honest man, you wouldn't have so much trouble. What were you snooping for? I wasn't snooping. As a member of the family, I have a perfect right to move about these grounds. I'm one of Anton's heirs, and I have interest to watch and protect. Yeah, so has the claw. Yes, I have a theory about that. The claw is Captain Flint from the treasure ship, and he's probably working with our ex-convict relative, Roy. Seems to me I heard you mention my name. Yes, I did. I said you were working with the claw. If you're not that murdering fiend himself, you lying hypocrite. Get down. Well, the way you're carrying on, maybe he's right. He was never right in his life. I never liked him as a brat of a kid, and he hasn't approved any. All right, never mind your personal quarrels. What are you doing here? To see you about a little matter of murder. I... Murder? Who's murdered now? My brother, Anton. <gasps> and this very respectable doctor is a guilty man. He killed Anton in Mexico. Because I want proof and no fairy tales. All right, I'll get proof that Anton is dead. Father! Why, Uncle Anton's upstairs now. No one else rings like that. Madam O'Malley, we'll find out. I'm going to stick with you. Oh, oh, the lost is found. Come on in, everyone. I need witnesses. Uncle Father, you're safe. Oh, I'm so relieved. Stop it, Millie. Stop it. Come on, you're interfering with the law. Well, Mr. Benson, speak up. Give an account of yourself. Where have you been hiding? I haven't been hiding. I left to get away from this house of turmoil. Come on, stop stalling. When, when did you get back? Less than an hour ago. And I find my house all cluttered up with detectives, newspaper men, and I demand that you all leave at once. Here, hold everything. Wait a moment. There's a couple of murders and the disappearance of some gold to be accounted for yet. How about it? You fool! Are you accusing me of murder and the theft of my own gold? Remember, there's a penalty for libel. Well, uh, I'm not exactly charging. Mm. I'm asking. How about it? I know nothing of the murders. And if you want to find out what became of the gold, you could question some of my interesting family. They're probably all armed this moment. That's just what I'm thinking. I'll search every one of them. O'Malley, start in on this bird. He has a record. And I'll start here. Don't you dare lay your hands on me. <laughs> Touchy, ain't she? <laughs> hmm. I'll search you. I know my rights. I'm sorry you have to go through all this, Uncle. I'm not blaming you, Patricia. I know who's responsible. I 
ain't got nothing. You're telling me. Look, Casey, a gun. Fully loaded, too. It wouldn't be any good empty, would it? Oh, give me a look at that. <laughs> this will put you right back in the pen, me lad. We'll take him in, O'Malley. He's the bird we're after. You'll regret this, Anton. Take him out! You're wasting your time, copper. My mouthpiece will spring me. Get out before I have an attack. Get out! Father, isn't there something that I can do? Yes. Leave me in peace. Well, you heard what your father said. Come on, get out. Come on. I'd like to get a statement from you, Mr. Benson, about your visit below the border. Perhaps you can explain. I'll explain nothing. You get no statement from me. Very well, then. I'll write the facts as I know. You print the truth and it won't bother me. Only get out. Come on, come on. We're taking this bird in. Hold him while I get at the wheel. They just arrested Roy Benson. They're taking him to headquarters right away. Did they have the bracelets on him? They hadn't when I left. Good. Get moving. Now you stay here and don't leave this door. Take me along for the story, Casey. If Roy Benson turns out to be the Iron Claw, my paper can make a captain of you. Well, a little good you've done me up to now. But come on. What about me? Keep an eye on Pat. Something might break while I'm gone. Come on, you. You've arrested the claw, he hops out in front of you. Look out, he's behind you. Where? Here, come back here. Come back, you. Wait, that's O'Malley. What's he shouting about? Gunshots. That means trouble. I can't leave him for a minute. Okay, Benson, it worked. Nice work, Silk. The claw himself couldn't have done better. You ought to know. Come on, I've got a car waiting for you. What's all the shooting? Where's your prisoner? He got away. Away? I can explain. You can explain nothing. How can a man be so dumb? Come on, get us back to the house. I'll have your badge for this. Hold on. Look, I want to show you something. It's the plan of the tunnels that I lost. Millie had it, and while Roy was being searched, she tossed it away. She was afraid they might search her. Oh, boy. Suppose you and I were to find this treasure with all the others gone. You know, with this map, all but the gold was taken away. Yeah, that's what they all think, but I'm betting it's right here. Can anything happen? Not while you were gone. But don't worry, it will. Stay here. But can't. With this, we find out who the claw is, maybe. Let's go on. I found it. Found what? The map I lost. Map? What map? Oh, so you're holding out on me, are you? Well, where did this come from? Who did, did you? Well, we'll find out once and for all what's in this house. You're taking an awful chance. Well, I am, am I? Well, if the claw has a den down there, I'm going to find it. All right, lead on, Captain Casey. We'll follow. <laughs> come along, O'Malley. I let you in on the kill. <laughs> have patience, have patience. We're going to do this mechanically. Now, let's see. We're right about here. And if you... <laughs> I knew I'd find it. Now, let me see. Jack, if you see the claw, yell out. Yell out no matter what you see. I'm not taking any chances. Like that. 
Or do I? Well, are you going to stand here arguing, or are you going to find Bob? Bob? Oh, wait a oh. minute. I'll show you right where he is. Roy says we can get into the tunnels through a trap door in that shack. Stay outside and keep watch. Is it Roy, the ex-convict? Is Silk Langdon the answer to our question? What about Jives and his master? Is Anton, in reality, the Iron Claw? Learn the answer. Don't fail to see the claws collapse. The final chapter of the Iron Claw. fortune is at stake. The Iron Claw is hot on the trail. He lurks in the dark. He strikes in the back. Murder, intrigue, horror, destruction. Brother against brother, friend against friend. Who is this man who holds them all at bay? Who is this man who laughs at the law and underworld alike? Who is the Iron Claw? He seems at last to have won the game. When Bob Lane and policeman Casey trap him in the tunnels, he turns with the savagery of a cornered tiger and hurtles Lane to a dreadful doom. Porter. Who turned the car loose on us? Who cares? Missed us, didn't it? Come on, let's get out of here and get back to the house. Look out! Oh, it's you. I nearly let you have it. 
What was that blast we heard? I'll tell you later. Let's get back to the house. Well, it's about time. Are you through yet? No, I've got too much to do. Help me. like you are. I have good reason to spy. You've got the planning to ditch me. You're crazy. I haven't got the stuff. Then who has? The claw, of course. Sure, the claw's got it. I said you had it, didn't I? Meaning? I know who the claw is just as well as you do. Millie, you know too much. Oh! Oh! smash that shed in on you. Why, the claw, of course. Why, not the gang you were fighting with. Not a chance. They were all fighting when the car started. Lloyd Benson is up to something. I found him in Anton's room and he... He tried to kill me. Calm down now. Talk sense. Why did he try to bump you? Well, I... I accused him of being the claw. Oh, you talk too much. It's a wonder you didn't tell him we were working together. Oh, I wouldn't do that. And if Roy Benson's trying to cross us, we'll beat him to the punch. Now, please stand by. I may need you. Roy Benson's the claw. Why, Jack, that's impossible. Not as impossible as it seems. Roy Benson has a lot to explain. You took the words right out of my mouth. I bring in Roy Benson. Hadn't you better wait until you're sure? No, sir. Hit the iron while it's hot and save a stitch in time is my motto. Oh, oh. Well, Mr. Claw, you fell right into my hands. Guard the door, O'Malley. Don't worry, Pat. Well, you may as well confess. If you think I'm the Claw, you're crazy. All I did was to hire Silk's bomb to locate Atten's gold for me. I admit that. And a couple of murders or so on the side don't count, I suppose. I don't know anything about the killings. I wanted my share of the gold. If you weren't a lot of blind fools, you know who the claw is. Do I have to tell you? For the love of Mike, tell us! All right, I will. His name is... That means he wasn't dead. That was a trick to let him get away. The proves I was right. Roy Benson is the claw. I hate to admit it, yes. Well, what are we waiting for? A dead man can't run far. O'Malley, get going. The door's locked. I... What did you lie to me for? You surround the house. I'll search upstairs. Roy Benson is dead. The claw killed him. The place will be swarming with police. We'd better beat it, Wyatt. And let the claw get the gold, you fools. We've searched the house. It's not there. Well, then search the mine. Hurry. We'll move the gold and get away from the house. Neither your life nor mine is safe here any longer. Yes, I know, but where can we conceal it until it is safe for us to leave? My room. They searched there time and time again. They're not likely to return. Hurry, we haven't much time. I've searched everywhere and the house is empty. Would you bet on that? Quiet, you. Now, this is too big a job to handle alone. I'm calling out the reserve. Take my advice, Anthony. Leave the gold here. It's too heavy to move. My life is worth more than this gold. You're taking it just the same. Don't argue. Hurry! It's impossible. 
I can hardly lift it. You weakling. I'll lift it. There, what did I tell you? We must get it out of here. So, my loving brother gets ready to make his getaway, gold and all. That's exactly what I mean to do. And don't you try to stop me. I'll be glad to get rid of you. After you divide your ill got wealth with me. Never. I'm through with all of you. Get out of my way. Sure. But I'm keeping the gold. for 10 minutes. We'll be gone by then. Those tunnels below hold the answer. I intend to find it. Well, I'm going too. I won't stay here alone. Well, that goes double. I'm afraid I killed him. So what? This is no time to be squeamish. What detained you? I was checking that upstairs panel to Anton's room. The room is empty. haven't got the treasure any more than we have. Treasure? Well, let's get back to the house. The reserves ought to be there by now. We'll round them up, or me name isn't Casey. And a boy, Copper, you tell him. be able to get away with all this. Let me worry about that. We only have to get him to the car. Here, help me up with this. I want to... just want to check up on how much we have. I'm sure that door's locked. Oh, we're getting nowhere fast. Hey, look, the claw's been here. The phone's off the hook. And I told the inspector to hold the line. Hello. Hello. <laughs> he hung up on me. Go and pack my bag. Go and pack my bag. Go. Yes. dynamite to try and get in there now. The police. Oh, you coward. You've been battling the police half your life. Now, see here. I'm in charge, and we'll do everything my way. The claw! He's killing Mr. Arden! Hurry, say it!
the cloth. Oh, Uncle Ed! The gold! James Benson. The Iron Claw is a phony. I knew it all the time. And remember, I captured them all by myself. Right, Casey, all by yourself. I... Bob, Bobby's. Yes, I know. Well, it's all over now. The Iron Claw is finished. Yeah, Casey got him. He's dead in a dornia. Who was it? Dr. James Benson. Uh, this is the best day's work I've ever done. And don't be a bit surprised that if someday soon, you'll be working for me. I should live that long. Yeah. I believed Anton was the claw up to the very last. I can't blame you for that. We all did. Oh, oh. Ha, uh ha. -huh. Load him up, men, and take him in. That's order. See here. You can't arrest me. I'm a Benson. My father owns this place. Not anymore, he don't. The claw bumped him off. <laughs> Come on, get them out of here. Load them in. Take them in. Get them out of here. You better let me take you downstairs. No, don't leave me here with that gold. We're liable to have another battle on our hands. What did I tell you? The battle is over, mister. This Batson capitulates. Gives up. Uncle Roy, surely you didn't have a hand in this. The murders? No. But I am guilty of plenty concerning the battle for the gold. All right, folks. You can all clear out. My man will take charge. We've had a perfect roundup. <laughs> what? Another one? Mm. You mustn't do this. I'm sorry, miss, but I can't take chances with the Benson. They all go in. He's right, Pat. Inspector Casey, mm. after tonight's job, you rate a good picture on the front page. How about it? Well, after all, I'm not needed here. My work is done. i let you have a minute or so of me time. Come along, you. Watch this. It's going to help our story a lot. Now don't move. Ready? Go. Thanks, Inspector. I got a fib. <laughs> that picture on the front page ought to murder him. You said. <laughs> Some competition for your headline, huh? I think you've got something, Casey. Uh, Casey? He called me Inspector. 